Hi everyone, I thought I would do a quick review on a hair straightener that I that has been in my possession for quite some time and I haven't really talked about it but people were asking me what hair straighteners I use and I thought oh. I never mentioned this and it is by a brand called Coriolis Pro and I bought this myself when I was in London and um, it is hideous red leopard print which I hate but it was this or like a gold one and this was the least offensive. I would have rather just a plain one, but they didn't have, it wasn't to be. Now it was about 90 pounds. And at the time that was about 120. I don't know what that is now, but that was my reasoning. It was working out cheaper than a GHD. Um, I have had two H GHDs in the past and loved them, but they fall apart and m both of my GHDs needed to be repaired. Like my dad had to take apart the plug and actually put a new plug on one of them. And another one, the cord broke, like it just came off the bottom and my dad had to rewire it and it was very messy and dangerous. Not a reason for me not to buy it, believe it or not. It's actually just the price. Like, since I've already bought two and they didn't last me. Um, now I did, I, I don't know what whether I was just unlucky that I had two that that happened to, but they were different problems. So I decided to try something different. Now it is quite thin and um, what attracted me to it is that the plates, the plates rock. So when you're, if you're doing kind of curls or anything like that, it's, it's supposed to be easier. Now I'm going to start off by saying that I actually don't really rate this as a good hair straighteners. Um, it doesn't have, it has an on off button. It doesn't have a heat dial. That's the first problem. The second problem is that there are ceramic plates, um, but it's not, it doesn't feel smooth when you run it through your hair. I find that my hair gets caught in it and it kind of feels like it's tugging a little. Um, and it also makes some, sometimes it makes my hair frazzle a little. I know that's just the heat, but if I had a temperature dial, that might not be an issue. So aside from, hating the design of it. She liked that the plates rock, but I don't think it's a good hair, hair straighteners and I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's not horrible, like if you get it for free or as a present, it'll do. And to be honest, for me, that's all it does. It just, it's something that it'll do, you know, that attitude to it. Um, I have got another hair straighteners that I got years ago in a hair suppliers and I think it like costs like 20 or 30 euros. And it's by a brand called Kodu and um, I don't know anything about them really to be honest but I have gone back to using that one and this just doesn't do it for me anymore I'm afraid now while I'm on the subject I thought I would show you another hair product and another hair tool that has let me down it is my um I don't know who makes this, this is a Tony and Guy yeah my Tony and Guy curling tongs which is like it's like a giant one and I love this I just I absolutely love it I don't particularly like that there's a clamp on it you don't really need that but this the, the clamp part heats up so you don't need to buy a conical iron you can just like and I actually don't use the clamp I just wrap my hair around but it has a temperature gauge and it goes up to 210 degrees it doesn't go any higher than that but you can you can use it lower now that 210 is enough to give me um enough hold and everything and it doesn't damage my hair that much and this it doesn't get stuck and i like all that there is one problem now when i use it upside down it turns itself off and i thought it was me i thought it was that maybe i because this is so long and my i'm so little that I thought that because like it's also quite heavy I thought because that was so far away that, that that was me touching it but I did an experiment and I held it up this way turned it upside down and it turned off now this isn't under warranty anymore stop waving it around any it isn't under warranty anymore so I can't bring it back I've had it about a year and a half but I've only used it I would say about 30 to 40 times now if it goes on how long you ha how long you have it then I suppose it's good value if it goes on how many uses you get out of it then it's not now that won't happen to everyone's I'm sure but it happened to mine and I happen to really like it so I'm <laughs> unsure as to whether to buy it again I probably shouldn't considering mine stopped working after 30 or 40 uses um, but to be honest I don't know what else is out there as a comparison so if you have any recommendations and uh, let me know now i am not looking for anything smaller because i actually have a um um a, oh andrew colleen i don't know if i'm saying that right andrew colleen colleen or something yeah um, i have like a smaller for a smaller one and i use that sometimes but with my hair extensions and stuff i like the big one 
so uh, maybe you could let me know if you have any advice so this was just a quick video but I thought I should share in case anyone's out there on the market for a curling tongs or a hair straighteners um, get the Coriolis and Mist. I've also seen this in, in Flair hair suppliers in Dublin. I've seen a mini version of this for 20 euro and I would, I just don't even, I wouldn't even, I don't know if I, it might be all right for 20 euro, but it definitely isn't worth 120. I'd rather just add the little extra and get a GHD, although my GHD let me down too. Maybe you could let me know what hair straighteners you use too, because next time I'm buying one, that would be handy. I did um, try one, it was for the Brazilian blow dry and it was it was sold like to um, hairdressers with the kind of Brazilian blow dry package and I just saw it and had a, had a try of it while it was in the salon and uh, it was brilliant but it had it didn't have oh, I don't know the plates were different I think it was Teflon not ceramic or something it was almost like glass and um, the plates were but it was amazing but I think it was probably really, really expensive. So, and I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, let me know what you recommend. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.